This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. I've been using a money clip for a few years now, and as you can see, my cards are pretty beat up. So when Ridge Wallet reached out, I jumped at the chance to use one of their wallets. Not only does it keep your cards protected from the elements, but it also blocks RFID. It's also highly customizable and comes in a variety of colors and materials. Go to ridge.com slash wildrose or the link in the description and use code wildrose for 10% off your order. If you haven't been keeping up with Creality's iterations of the CR10, I wouldn't blame you. There have been a ton of variations on the highly successful original CR10, but this printer might be one that you want to take note of. This is the CR10 Smart and it's aptly named due to the features that are packed into it. First off, they've removed the control box seen on most other CR10s and managed to cram all the electronics right into the base of the machine. Let's take a look inside quickly and check that out. Here we see Creality's 32-bit silent board, a power supply, as well as a small Raspberry Pi style computer that runs Creality's Smart Hub. The unit has a hard on-off switch on the back near the power input, and on the side it has a soft on-off switch. It has dual Z-axis lead screws and the same struts from the base to the top of the frame as we've seen on the CR10 V2, which keep the frame rigid even when printing up near the max height. Down under the bed here, you'll notice it's missing some knobs for bed leveling. That's because the bed leveling is completely automatic. It's done using the nozzle as a probe, and there's a strain sensor on the top of the hot end, which senses when the nozzle hits the build plate. During the probing process, the hot end heats up to 150 degrees so that any filament stuck to the nozzle is malleable and doesn't skew the results. The extruder has a lever that engages the idler so that filament can be pushed through the Bowden tube up to the hot end with ease. Print quality is excellent and I found this machine to be mostly plug and play, which is great to see on a machine of this size. Overall, I think this printer is easy to set up, has great features, is easy to use, and requires minimal tuning. Perfect for a beginner or a power user that wants a handful of smart features. Huge thank you to Creality for sending me this printer in exchange for an honest review. If you'd like to see more, I'll leave a link in the description. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.